A big Ten year company. warranty, big company that they would help you and they don't do anything for you. So, here we are with uh, what? how much is this battery worth? Like $10,000? $10,000. With a damaged $10,000 battery. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Deco. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. What's up, guys? So it is another day here in Miami, and today is the official microphone. Official microphone. No. What? What is the day today? Today is the day of the day. Baby, the last day that we're here. It is the last day that we're here in Miami. And we're very excited because yesterday at night we got the results of our COVID test. We, everything, thank God, we tested negative for the exams. So we have three days to leave Florida and make it to the Bahamas. And so that's why we're leaving tomorrow. So what you guys didn't know is that we were praying the last couple of days because my family, we had been with my staying with my family and my sister tested positive for COVID. Uh, thank God, because there was a storm. The day there was a storm, we had to head to the boat. We left my parents' house. And that day, my parents and my sister, they caught the COVID thing, they caught the virus. And so we were saved by the storm. Um, thank God they're all okay. Um, they're just quarantining and stuff. So what we're doing is that we're going to just prepare. We already sent the paperwork for the for the dogs. We are going to just buy all the groceries and all the fresh stuff and the things that goes in the freezer and refrigerator and stuff. And we'll be ready to go. We'll be going to the boat today and we'll be filling our tanks and that's it. We'll be ready to go. Anything you have to add, Captain? No, we're so ready to go. We're so ready. We're going to the boat. <laughs> Where are we, sir? We're at Sam's. Sam's a lot of fruit, a lot of veggies, a lot of avocado. Why are we buying so much stuff? We're provisioning for three months. We're going to the jungle. Excuse me, anything you have to say? It's a lot of food. <laughs> Cierto. De hambre no nos morimos. All right, guys. So we just made it back on the boat and. We're bringing all the things in from shore. We've already done five different trips and I'll show you all the things that we have just all over the boat. Clothes, groceries, food, more food. I don't know where we're gonna fit all this. It only gets more messy inside. Food. And we're still missing a few trips. So, I don't know. Feels like a lot, but hopefully Fingers crossed, we'll get the paperwork for the dogs in time and maybe we'll be able to leave tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we're able to get it done. We still have to go and put some diesel on the boat and that's about it. <laughs> we'll keep working, we'll keep working. It's been a, not a bad day, but a pretty bad day to say the least. Uh, okay, very, talk very to me. Horrible. What's happening right now? So we woke up. Yeah. We were gonna go get some breakfast with Andrea's aunt. Yeah. And then we turn on the generator to turn on to turn on the AC for the dogs. And then all of a sudden, boom, the battery is not working. So, so the battery died, completely messed up. Uh, we've contacted installers, the manufacturer, anything you can think of, and they're not, but nobody wants to help us. This is an LG Chem Resu battery that was installed and purchased in Europe, and because it was purchased in Europe, they don't want to service it here in the United States. They don't have that model here. They don't know how to service it. Nobody can help us. We're pretty helpless right now. And 
we're pretty stuck. We're pretty uh, sad. Uh, we were frustrated. We hadn't recorded the entire day. It's 5 p.m. and we hadn't recorded the entire day because we were having, we were pretty angry. We were a little frustrated, just trying to call, trying to figure things out. We were supposed to leave to the Bahamas today. Obviously, we can't leave because not having a lithium battery means our refrigerators are not working, our freezer's not working, water maker, forget it, washer, forget it. Anything that needs electricity, our cooktop, our oven, anything in the boat, doesn't work. So, right now, we are packing up to go back to Alejo's parents' house and so that our the, all the food and all the provisioning that we did yesterday doesn't just go bad and get run in here because obviously at some point the freezer is just going to unfreeze and so we're gonna take it to a freezer in his parents house so that all the food doesn't go bad so all of the moving that we did yesterday two trucks full of food two trucks full of two cars trucks because they're big uh, all the way here going back there another 40 minutes to drive back there and oh god it's been hard because we already saw ourselves just going in bikinis and tanning in the Bahamas and going in the beautiful blue water and it's not happening anymore and to say the least and we also had to send our pet permit and we sent it to we went to FedEx dropped it off on Wednesday today is Friday it was supposed to be overnighted so they should have received it on Thursday we paid $60 for it and they didn't receive it uh, something happened with FedEx and they won't be delivering it until Monday so there's no way we're going to the Bahamas anymore so we just wanted to share that it's a little frustrating guys I'll show you where Lejo's at we're taking obviously the big freezer the second freezer all the food um, obviously we're taking the dogs too and that's what's happening not a good day but but whatever you gotta do what you gotta do Very, very young. Can you tell me before you start doing everything you're gonna do, how do you feel? Bad. We were so close. I can't even smell the Bahamas. <laughs> I know. We even got to taste the water of the Bahamas. <laughs> now look at this water. Look at the poop. Look at this water. We're stuck with this water. And so now we're taking all the food we did yesterday, another trip. You see, there's two cars over there. Those are the two cars that we drove yesterday, and now we're going all the way back again. So, bye, baby. So guys, so we left on Friday because of the battery. We went to my parents' house. Now it's Monday. Today at 4 a.m. we called Germany to see if they were gonna replace the battery by warranty. They told us most likely that they're not gonna replace the battery. So I've been calling like a lot of companies of batteries. We're gonna give it another try to turn on the battery, charge it. If not, we're gonna take it off the boat, take it somewhere. Have a charge, see if it works. If not, we'll just have to buy another battery. Hopefully not. We have been waiting the entire weekend for this. And we tried turning on the battery, Alejo, when he got here. He tried turning it on and it trips. It keeps tripping, it keeps turning off. As he said, LG won't, um, you know, LG in the United States, they say that they don't make this model, so they can't, do any warranty on it. Uh, it's installed in a boat. They can't do anything because it shouldn't be installed in a boat. The ones in Europe don't want to help us either. And so you would think LG being an international company, being the company that, you know, 10 year company. warranty, big company that they would help you and they don't do anything for you. So here we are with uh what how much is this battery worth like ten thousand dollars with a damaged ten thousand dollar warranty i'm sorry battery 
<laughs> so yeah, sucks. Oh, you're gonna try to unplug all the cables? Yeah. Okay. See if that works. Yes. We have also tried calling all the installers in the U.S. We tried the people that we spoke oh. to in oh, the people that we spoke to in Europe this morning. We called that. We woke up at 4 a.m. to be in the time of Germany and see if they would give us any help in terms of like maybe giving us a troubleshooting guide or something like that. They don't have any help at all. Like there's barely nothing you can do when a lithium battery is not balanced and one of the sales like basically you know one of the sales could be with i don't know maybe 10 percent or zero percent while the other ones are at 30 percent well so that creates like that unbalance and that's the reason why it's not working and it's just when the battery when we want to charge the battery or discharge it the ba the the um, bms automatically just sends a signal to the inverter to just not shut it, shut, it, shut it off because it won't charge and the battery itself just strips. Yes. So, obviously this caught, caught us by surprise and obviously we were very frustrated and we kind of still are, especially because of the warranty of LG and we don't have $10,000 to spend right now on a battery. We don't have that money and so, I don't know, we're feeling pretty Bumped. Bumped about, yeah, that's the word, bumped. Bumped about this because what are you going to do? Doesn't seem like there's much you can do. Okay, so my very strong husband <laughs> was just able to take out the two batteries. This is the, ba this is the, like the extension and this is the main battery. And so this thing is super heavy, like, I don't know, more than a hundred pounds, right? Like yes. 200 or something. Super. So it's super heavy, but um, we took it out. What are we gonna do, baby? What's the plan? We're gonna take it to a place called E-Marine. E-Marine, and they're gonna put it on a battery charger, see if, if they can balance the cells. Yeah. And then they're gonna check out the battery, see if they can fix it. And if not, we have to buy a new battery. Yep. Hey, so. You got this, baby. You got this. Okay, now the small one. And we're going to see if someone fixes this for us. Crossing our fingers. What's up, guys? So, uh, we haven't solved anything with the battery, but it's really windy today, and so we came back to the boat for our kite fish. And Alejo is paddling right now. I don't know if you can see him. Right there. Ah, uh, we haven't touched that guy. We haven't, we haven't gone kiting in over five months since we were in Beaufort in North Carolina. Board, but we're excited we need a little bit of a break we need a to lift our spirits a little bit so we're gonna do that by cutting and so yeah pretty excited Alejo is almost at the boat that we did today was that we met one of our patrons, Patrick, and Patrick is the owner of this awesome product, the Barnacle Buster. And we had already used this product and we didn't know Patrick was one of our patrons. It was a great surprise to meet Patrick. We use it all the time. And we also use the sewer cleaner. If you guys have seen one of our videos where our black water tank got stuck and it was really disgusting and Alejo had to go in the water and try to get all the poop out of the boat. That's pretty bad. So this is going to avoid us. We're not gonna have to do that ever again. So thank you, Patrick. We appreciate it. Anything you have to say? What? What do you have to say? Nothing, we're gonna kite. We're gonna, we're kite? gonna kite? Oh, excuse me, can I see your shirt? 
Oh, looking good. Can I see the back? Oh, Captain, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I love it. Is this one of those soft shirts, like jersey yes. shirts? Where can no. they get it? It's like dry fit. Dry fit. Shirt. You can find it on our website, people. Going to our website. What's our website? Like livinghakuna.com. Borrower slash shop. <laughs> Whatever she said. Okay, Alex. Honey, Alex.